Hey everybody, welcome back to Mead Monday on the Mead Bashers Guild. I'm here with our Mead Bane again, Courtney. Hey everyone. And today we are drinking with the Buckaroo Buckwheat. Stay tuned. All right, this week we are drinking Buckaroo Buckwheat Mead from Chinook Meadery. Say that 10 times fast. Exactly, from Okotoks, Alberta. <laughs> now, a little bit about this mead is... Um, Buckwheat being kind of a, being a grain from the prairies here, um, they kind of it's kind of different. I've never really seen a grain go into a mead, but um, I'm really I'm really anxious to try it. Um, I know seeing our bottle here a little bit empty in the glasser, but we did use that for our uh, cooking episode for this week, so be sure to check that out as well. We will leave a link in the description below. But um, we already talked about Chinook uh, from Okotoks, Alberta. We've done an event there. We've uh, interviewed them. Great meadery a lot. We're a big fan of their meads here on the channel. But um, we'll just kind of dive right into it. Oh, big table. <laughs> you always said it so far ahead of yourself. Well, the camera is here. Pretty sure the camera does. <laughs> I think you just like making a pain in yourself. I am. I, I do. That's mm -hmm. me. That's me. Right. Are you offer psychology or do you do <laughs> Or not that psychologist. <laughs> hey, peanuts can do it. It's like red. It's Almost got like... a very amber tone to it, for sure. But a very deep. Yeah, like, no, this literally looks like they poured amber into a glass. Yeah. Like, it's just that perfect color. Um, the Ooh. legs on it are not very stiff, so it's probably a lower sugar content, for sure. Like it, it goes down a little bit, but it, like yeah, it'll but it kind of lingers on the glass too. But I don't know on mine. I don't find it lingers at all. Like no? maybe I almost slosh mine outside the glass. <laughs> mine just might have soap scum. I don't know. <laughs> but, but also, there's no really no carbonation to it, so it's no. it's a still mead. Um. Ooh. It literally smells like brown sugar. Yeah, it's got that. Brown sugar and an earthy tone to yeah. it. Let's dive in. That is weird. Like not bad weird, but yeah, just strange weird. Definitely definitely earthy. Like the buckwheat itself is like like the a very earthy grain. It's it almost it almost has got a very grassy back back. For me, it. it's almost peaty. A little bit, like there's there's a little bit of peat, almost a little bit of grassy taste. Excuse like, me, I keep wiping my nose is itching. <laughs> <sighs> but yeah, no peaty, and there's a little bit of like grassy notes to it, like like it tastes definitely like like a raw grain almost. Yeah, and I, I would almost say like deep earthy, like no. it, it kind of lingers a little bit. It's really it, it's nice, but it's also very sweet. Yeah, like like I wouldn't necessarily say this is my personal. Favorite from Chinook because I tend to gravitate toward a little bit toward either the classics or the millimels, mm. but it's not bad. No, it, it's definitely different. Like if you're, I almost say if you're somebody like a Scotch drinker, you like that very smoky or very earthy peat. Mm -hmm. This would probably be definitely more for you just because yeah. all I taste through it is is like very deep earth tones. To yeah, it. super smoky with a little bit of that brown sugar honey on the base of it. There is like the, the sweet hits it seems to hit in the very beginning mm -hmm. and I find that it goes to the earthy tones in the back. Mm -hmm. But yeah, no. So we have a little assortment of things here. First, we are going to try mince meat tarts. Now these tarts are kind of like a mix between sweet and savory. I actually handmade like from scratch this mince meat and I made it with um, the traditional way back in the early Victorian era with cow tongue. That was an adventure and a half. It literally just tastes like roast beef, like calm your titties. Nope. <laughs> but it, they're super delicious. They were a huge hit at uh, a lot of the Christmas parties I went to, so oh. give it a try. Cheers. Cheers. That's like very sweet. Well, it is. Mm -hmm. Minced meat has apples and currants and a lot of sugar, so these are not diet friendly. You know. <laughs> A lot of citrus peel too. Mm. I almost find this accents. It's almost like the sweetness complements the sweetness beginning, but it's still 
but it keeps the sweetness around a lot longer. It keeps the sweetness around a lot longer. I with actually really like that com I actually really like that combination. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, it's the, the, yeah, it definitely draws the sweetness out longer to it. Mm -hmm. Now we also have a couple different cheeses. I have a regular cheddar, a Gruyere, a Favardi dill, because why not? And just some full of, like Ukrainian sausage. Nothing crazy, crazy out there. Mm. Sorry, cheese. <laughs> Sorry, cheese. <laughs> I want to live past today. So do I. So does my stomach. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that was embarrassing. Well, just just right. hold it down. Swallow it. Just swallow it. Shut up and swallow. It's a great song. Mm hmm. Hmm. The cheddar almost cuts out the sweetness. But it also cuts the earthiness a bit too. It does. Which there, I actually kind of like. Yeah, like the earthiness doesn't... It, it, it's, it definitely is a strong punch with the earthiness in the back, but finding the cheddar definitely that's does that's cool. does tone it down if you're, if you're not somebody that's into that peaty, earthy taste. Okay, let's try a little bit of Gruyere. Oh, yeah. It is delicious. Gruyere is one of my absolute favorite cheeses. I find that accents accents is the earthy tones quite a bit, but again, really? but again, it doesn't it doesn't like take that hard hit. It, it cuts it down a bit, but it just kind of almost helps it along. It almost makes that initial taste almost slightly scotchy, mm -hmm. which is funny because this is. Nowhere near a scotch. No, no worries. So. Scotch, but... And the last, what's this one? That is a dill Havarti. Oh, dill. Mm. Yeah. So we'll see how it goes. Is this a science fail? No. Like, the dill, because for me, dill's kind of got that opposite of an earthy taste. It I actually like that better, best out of all the cheeses we've tried. Yeah, it's like the dill. I mean, if you're not an earthy, like an earthy tone person, it definitely cuts that earth tone almost out. Yeah. It replaces and it almost, it, you can slightly taste the smokiness a bit more, but mm -hmm. maybe that's just me. And the last little thing we have is just Ukrainian sausage. This is supposed to have some smoky notes to it, so mm -hmm. you're empty. There's not enough left there. Mmm. It complements the smokiness, but it almost makes, it takes that penis and makes it more smoky while the earth is kind of not as... And it also amps up the sweetness a little bit. It does. It really good. It's really good. Now, the last thing we're going to have is this wonderful beef pot pie that we made with this meat. Mm -hmm. It is super delicious. It's got butternut squash and mushrooms and... Really delicious beef, plus this mead, a sh uh, classic short crust, so it's really delicious. Very good. And this is the one for the uh, this week's Kitchen Witch Wednesday, which will be coming up obviously Wednesday. But mm. this is so good. Mm -hmm. Yep, this makes me happy in my pants. <laughs> And I find, again, the earthiness is not there, but it definitely amps up the smoky peatiness of it. The, gra the grassiness is gone, but the smokiness of peat is definitely more up. And again, like using this in cooking, like this is a very hearty meal. This is like mm -hmm. definitely something on a cold fall or cold winter day you'd have, maybe not on a hot summer day. Mm, like today. Exactly. exactly. But no, like complimenting this very well, even though it was made with it, it's... The earthy tones and the peatiness and smokiness help with the roast and the vegetables mm -hmm. and everything here in it. This tastes so good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We will be, once the video is released for that recipe, we will put a link in the description bar below. So exactly. don't you worry. Mm -hmm. But now next, we shall do the official tasting out of the official drinking vessel of mead and the horn. And ladies first. 
Sorry, if I poo. <laughs> My mouth is full. Anderson's happen if I don't do it properly. You don't want choking and please, dying. Please, please don't choke. I don't want to get first aid today. Yeah, I'm pretty sure my husband would also be kind of upset if I just, I just up and died on the floor up here. <laughs> Comes upstairs, what's going on here? She did. She did. <laughs> what? What's wrong with you? I say she did. She did. Oh, you get... That's weird. You get way more smoke out of that. Really? Like, maybe it's because I had another bite in my mincemeat tart, but... Like, I'm for whiskey, like, I'm not a fan of, like, uh... Necessarily, um rye or bourbon mm. but i do like scotch and i do like a smoky peatiness out of it so i i do like this and if it gives more of a smoky note oh yeah mm -hmm. it's almost like the more air it's exposed to it's like the sweetness is almost gone mm -hmm. but yeah the, the peatiness and the it's earthiness cool. tones definitely go up mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but this was awesome great to chinook i mean from us from Alberta and Canada here a prairie province you know it's nice to see that you know they can implement some of the grains that we see and that that's commonly grown here on the prairies it's trying a new recipe like this very interesting notes um I think this would definitely be a more of a hit for somebody who's like uh, maybe enjoying in the scotch world obviously we've been talking about earthy and smoky and peaty Pea, notes. yeah so I think somebody who who definitely enjoys that would this would definitely be up your alley mm -hmm. so I mean good definitely good for um the the guys down at Chinook for making this uh, something unique I've definitely never tried before, like especially yeah. outside of the whiskey world. For sure. But again, um, thanks for Courtney for making this amazing meal. We will leave the link in the description below for when the video does come out, to, so you can make this as well. But if you guys would like to leave a comment below, do you like uh, Earth Your Pea Notes too? And have you ever had anything like it outside of whiskey drinking normally that you would have? Would you have it in like? food like a hearty meal or something like that like a stew or a pot pie leave a comment below and we'll see you next time peace bye everyone